So hi guys, it's me, Nicely Created, and I was coming to do a real body shot and maybe talk about my weight loss journey and my struggles a little bit. So right now, this is where I am. I weigh... Okay, so I weigh somewhere between 213 and 210. Um, I'm actively trying to lose some weight, and um, so my weight is kind of fluctuating. I am 33 years old, and I guess um, I started a weight loss journey back in 2012, and I was very successful. But when I did that weight loss journey, I was only working weekends, two days out of a week. And sometimes I will work a PRN schedule. And so I had a lot of time to do the things that I needed to do. Um, I had five days out of the week where I would eat healthy and I exercised every single day. I was with a personal trainer and I just really kept myself accountable. And uh, one of the ways to help me keep accountable was on YouTube. So... Um, I guess I got with my mate in 2013 after I had lost a significant amount of weight. And when we got together, we both started gaining excessive amounts of weight. And so 2013, you know, I had already developed really good habits and I was um, staying in the little range between 170 and 180. I never reached my goal weight. The lowest I got was 168. My goal weight was between 160 and 155, somewhere up in there, was, which is where I'm comfortable at with my weight. Um, we just, I just started back developing really bad habits. And it took a while to develop those habits, but now it's like, I've started over so many times and I'm really tired of starting over because every time I start over, I lose a little weight. Then I fall right back into the same patterns and I've been really discouraged and not wanting to post and I've been up and down and up and down and up and down and really just not wanting to post on YouTube or social media just in case I fail. But one of the things that I did notice is that Social media actually helps keep me accountable, especially if I say that I'm going to post every day or I'm going to post monthly or I'm going to post weekly or whatever. It helps keep me accountable to make me do what I say I'm going to do. Another thing that I've noticed is my, mot my motivation goes up and down, up and down. One day I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to lose this weight and I eat like my diet is precise, exercising, you know, I'm burning those calories. And then, uh, no, it's like, oh, I don't, I don't care anymore. I'm fat. I got my man. I'm just going to chill. And so that has been my up and down struggle. But now I'm at the biggest that I have ever been. And it is, it's getting to me. I'm always tired. Um, my cravings are out of this world. Um, it got to the point to where I was working 12 hour shifts all the time, which I still am, but my stress at work was so high. I had such a high level of stress that it was like, you know, just grab and eat. And it was just easier. It was just much easier to go and pick something up than it was to plan meals and cook right and I got more kids now we have a blended family so when I started the first time I only had two kids they were small they ate whatever I cooked and I really had time to make sure that the food that I cooked was tasty and kid friendly and weight loss friendly and I don't know everything has changed now so this time it's a little bit more difficult especially now that the kids are bigger like I said I have more kids and they eat everything that, you know, if I buy separate stuff for me, they'll eat it. Or it's like, I don't, 
I can't afford to buy separate meals for them and separate meals for me. And then, um, like right now, I have six kids in my house. Six. And it's kind of hard to buy healthier items for that many people. And, you know, just make sure everybody's okay. But um, I have decided, I know I've said this before, but I've decided that I'm really going to try to stick this out. And my struggles are my food habits. I love sugar. I like candy. I love chips. I love junk. I love fried chicken. I just love all those things. And so right now I'm trying to reprogram myself not to want those things anymore. And right now I am struggling, but I have not given up. And so I will be posting. And so let me give y'all let me give you guys another body shot because I'm probably going to be posting side by side. Um so this is all the belly. And this is the side. Um the back. Oh, it's extra. The other side. And back to the front. Now, I've gone so far to avoid mirrors. I don't, I don't really buy clothes. Because I'm not really sure what size I am. And I, I guess you start gaining weight. And you know that you're gaining weight. But for some odd reason, it's hard to believe that you gained that much weight. Until you go and try to put on a size 14 and you realize you're not in a size 14, you're not quite in a size 16 and it's just very discouraging. And everything you put on pictures, y'all, my arms are huge. Number one, I already have big arms because I'm very muscular. But then I have all of this fat on top of the muscle and oh my God. And so right now my body image is not the best. Um, and so, uh, and so, y'all, um, I'm going to try to stay encouraged. I'm going to keep posting just for that accountability. And then maybe one day I'll look back on this video and say, wow, I can't believe how far I've come. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys who are doing this 21 day no excuse challenge with me. Thank you guys. So, um. I think that's about it. So stay tuned. I will be eventually showing some results. Mm -hmm.